Hello there, so in today's episode we are going to be talking about how to download Mixemo animations and use them on your own character. I mean not use them, just retargeting them on your own character would be enough in this episode because it's going to take a while to explain all of that. Um, so Mixemo, if you don't know already, is a website. It contains a lot of app, um, animations that you can just go ahead and download and Fortunately for us, in Unreal Engine 5, you can just go ahead and retarget them to any other character that you want. I've already downloaded this one, so you can just go ahead and click download. Make sure this is with this skin. The first time you want to import the animation to your scene, to your project, it should be with this skin. But after that, it doesn't really matter. It can be without this skin. Uh, we are going to be using the FVX binary and 30 frames per second so now we are going to be um, adding the animation that we've just already downloaded to our game to our project so this is the one the first time you need to be uh, adding the skeletal mesh and the mesh as well after that uh, when you are adding other animations to it you can just go ahead and untick this one um, no, untake this one and then make sure make sure you specify which skeleton you are using So we are importing the skeletal mesh. We are importing the mesh. We are also importing the animation make sure this one's ticked uh, In our case, we don't really need to create any material so I can just go ahead and import all without creating any materials Okay, so action idle. Okay, this is the animation we have downloaded and uh, imported to our scene. The first thing that you have to do to uh, retarget the animation is right click uh, in the animation, IK rig, and create an IK rig. In our case, we should just name it. test IK rig open it up the preview skeletal mesh would be this one action idle to standing idle well that's the case in Mixemo it uh, names the skeletal mesh that you've imported after the animation that you have just downloaded after the files name okay and now we are going to add this uh, to retarget this animation to the uh, default mannequin in Unreal Engine 5 so you can actually uh, target this to any other character that you want I'm just going to be using the default mannequin because it's just ready to go so if we go to the third person blueprint no not this one on characters mannequin animation and uh, where was it ik okay ik mannequin this is the one okay it's called ik underline mannequin so this is the uh, IK rig that's been already created for the mannequin so what we can do we have to for this one we have to add chains so this is the uh, new one that we have already created we can just go ahead and copy try to mimic what we see here to the test IK, IK, uh, IK rig that we have here also make sure you uh, click on the hips and right click set retarget root this is important so let's see we have spine we have left arm and spine is all the way from point one to uh, I'm sorry to from zero one to zero five okay so you just click on spine until we have only three spine other than that it's just neck and head right click um, new retarget chain uh, we just call it spine because it's called spine in here uh, and left arm is upper arm L to hand L which is upper arm L to 
hand L, so the whole arm. So uh, upper, so in our case, this is not the upper arm, this is the upper arm until the hand. Right click, new retarget chain, left arm. Okay, uh, we are not going to do the left pinky, left ring. I mean, these are really uh, easy, so it's just pinky. You can just go ahead and find the pinky here. From here, no, not this one, from. So that's the thing, you need to go ahead and see where it starts and where it ends. So pinky zero one, pinky zero one, it starts from here. So this one. It's actually so different. Yeah. Okay, so then from here, from 2 to 4, right click, new retarget chain, left, I don't know what it was called, but we can check, left pinky, okay, left pinky is correct, okay, nice. Since we don't have much time and you've already understood what I'm saying, we are not going to do the fingers right now. So right arm, from the upper arm underline right to hand, hand underline right. Upper arm, so we are not going to do the, okay, upper arm right to hand, okay, from here to here. So in this case, I mean, the naming convention is a little bit different, so it makes everything a little bit harder to understand because this is not the right arm. Uh, it starts from the right arm to right hand. Let's click new retarget chain, right arm. Okay, nice. Um, and that, right arm after that, right leg and left leg. Uh, from thigh R, which is here to ball on underline R to here, okay, all the way until the fingers. So we just go ahead and write up leg, um, yeah, it's, th oh, yeah, it's from thigh, to right toe, and we can actually do that, yeah. It's going all the way up to the end, okay, we can just grab all of that, right click, new retarget chain, right leg. And then we have the left leg, which is definitely the same, right click, new retarget chain, left leg. And then we have um, left clavicle and right clavicle. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, copy this one, the name of it. So clavicle L, it's only the uh, this joint, which in this case is just the shoulder. So not the right shoulder, the left shoulder, right click, new retarget chain, copy paste, and uh, we are going to do the same for the right one which is this one, new target chain, left, copy and paste it, and I believe we have everything, make sure this one's set to root, oh, we don't have the neck and the head, I'm sorry, so, um, head, 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 okay, head's just neck, zero, one, two, head, Okay, not the pelvis, not the thigh, it's under the spine, on uh, neck to head, okay, all the way up there, neck to, not to the end, neck and head, is called head, so control C, 
near target chain always oh, called head already so what about the okay that's fine we have everything we need so something to note here if you want to create an ik rig from scratch for your custom character you can just go ahead and make a plan for yourself so you can just go ahead and make all of these for yourself maybe you could call all of it all the way all the way around here to the shoulder um the right arm and here the left arm maybe you don't want these kind of detail maybe you don't want the fingers to be retarget to be retargeted or maybe you don't have any uh, but that's completely up you up to you you can just go ahead and uh, left click shift and right click near the target chain or you can just add them from here from the starting bone to the ending bone which I mean you can just name it here and add chain and then you can change everything here okay um, and then what we can do is I mean what we have to do right click animation IK rig IK retargeter let's again call it test okay select the source IK the source is test IK rig the uh, target is IK underline mannequin okay let's see if we have something we actually have something but if you pay attention the hands are not in their place which I mean a lot are not in their place so how we can fix them you can just go to the edit mode and try to adjust we are right now we are currently editing the, tar uh, the target pose we can just go ahead and edit the source pose but in our case right now changing the target pose makes more sense so let's start with this one. Oh, not this one maybe the upper arm would do the job just try to make him Try to make them look like each other. Uh, what about this one? Okay, um, the lower arm, and I believe we have something. Let's see. Okay, that's actually better at least the arms are fine right now but you can go ahead and look at the fingers <laughs> okay so you can just go ahead and map all in the exact order it will fix a lot of things for you uh, in here just map all but this one right here I believe is what I've changed just to show you it was an example just to show you how you can fix the finger so you will have to fix the posture as well for the fingers so I, I can't remember which finger was it I guess it was the pinky um, you can just go ahead and try to adjust the position of the finger maybe something like this and then try to again see how it looks oh yeah it's fine yeah, at least better but this is the way to go and then when you have it it's called test IK retargeter then go to the content browser um so right now we want to actually retarget it 
what is this called okay this one so right click on the animation that you want to retarget to another skeletal mesh and then retarget anima uh, animation asset duplicate it select the retargeter we've created it's called test okay retargeter and then retarget and then where what which one was it okay this one and now you have your new animation which looks not bad at all there are some problems here and there that you could have already fixed in here because we could see the problem here we could actually come in here and fix it by uh, again adjusting the posture in the edit mode but I believe this is looking really good for a tutorial so um, this was it I hope it helps and if it did please hit that like button have a great day. Bye.